guidance is uh, basically self-steering of, of, uh, of farm equipment, combines, tractors, um, basically taking the control of the steering out of the driver's hands so he can concentrate on setting up his machine. Oh, I think the main driver undoubtedly has been uh, guidance, has been the development of reliable, relatively cheap satellite-based navigation systems um, because that has enabled uh, guidance of uh, field machinery to overcome things like overlaps, to make sure you get tram lines at the right distance. Um, and that's been the real thing that has transformed precision farming in the last decade from something that was stuttering, if I'm honest, uh, to now something that is a, a mainstream part of our agronomy. What would you say are the key benefits of uh, autoguide or guidance? Uh, well, several benefits. It obviously reduces overlap. It, uh, it cuts down on driver fatigue. It helps the machine run a lot more efficiently and hopefully all that saves money and increases productivity. We've actually just mapped all the farm for the uh, variable PNKs, variable nitrogen rates, um, and we're also on satellite with the, uh, the steering on the challenges and also with the sprayer. So, uh, you know, technology is moving along and we're moving along with it and, um, you know, trying to, uh, you know, get, out, get everything put on more precise and more accurately in the areas it's required, really. Well, Topcom basically itself, it's a, it's a steering system, a self-steering system that takes control of the tractor. Uh, you can have a lesser steering system with a light bar on it, which you actually steer to, but this is a System 150, and the System 150 will actually take control of the steering itself and actually guide the tractor using satellites. And so it's traditionally larger farms that are, that are using it, but it, we are seeing it spill down on smaller farms. And if you're thinking about reducing overlap, actually a smaller machine will be more efficient than a larger machine because it's turning around more in a field. There's three basic levels. Um, we've got um, an entry level system, which is a pass to pass for about 20 centimetre accuracy, which realistically we don't sell very often because it's it's only really just accurate enough to, to work in agriculture. <clears throat> this is the next level system and it's passed a part of five centimeter accuracy and for that basically what you do is like I say you use the raw GPS data from the satellites and you pay a subscription um, for a corrected signal. Um, we use a company called Omnistar uh, and that corrected signal beams over via a satellite as well and basically with anything with guidance the more points you measure the more accurate it becomes so because we're measuring two points we can, we can sense our accuracy on the ground much better. The top level system uh, goes to RTK, uh, and that, that is basically two options. You can either have a base station in the field, which is something you see quite regularly, uh, and that's down to a two centimetre accuracy, or you can now also use a, um, a SIM card like in a mobile phone called GSM, and basically plug that, plug that in to the, to the roof, and you can get the same accuracy, an RTK accuracy, via a SIM card network, as long as you've got mobile phone coverage. So where would you say are the main benefits of precision farming, autoguide, etc.? Autoguide, you know, autoguide on its own is a, it's a vast improvement from where we have been. Although, you know, we've got some very good technical guys on the farm, but, you know, when you're running late days, long days, when this machine can take itself up the field and bring itself back down with the accuracy that we're getting, we're, we're finding there's, you know, less overlap with seed, fertiliser sprays, which becomes a significant amount of money at the end of the season, really. So um, everything that we drill, uh, all the potatoes now are, you know, all, um, all you know, you use the autoguide to uh, produce everything really on the farm, really, you know, the accuracy and everything with it. So very, very important part of the part of the business going forward, really. And then you've got four choices. A and B lines is a straight line system. Identical curves is basically using a curve line. So if you want to start a field from a hedge line or an existing boundary and work that line across the field, you'd use identical curves. Adaptive curves is very similar, but if you correct the tractor, say for instance go around a telegraph pole or some trees, this will adapt to it and take that line on from that point across the rest of the field. And the last one is called pivots, which is a circular system which is really mainly used for um, the states and Australia where they're using pivot fields around a, a central source of water. Let go of the steering wheel, push the green button, and the tractor will come back into our line again. You can also incorporate this with a Data 3 screen, so you can actually use your header management button to turn your guidance on as well, so you can incorporate it with a quite a complicated head and turn. Things like autoguide, how has that helped? Oh yes, um, in the early days I wasn't uh, too pleased with it, because um, I actually drill cereals 
uh, and pulses and different things on the farm. And I used to um, pride myself on keeping straight and leaving the straight lines because obviously they're, they're there for a long while for people to see. And I, I, I thought that the, the auto guide was a little bit of a threat to um, people like myself. But no, uh, I'm afraid I was wrong. It's a very, very good piece of equipment. Um, and you can actually, I can operate my, my seeding machine, my drill, a lot better now because the tractor's driving itself in a straight line and it is very, very good, you, you know. I prided myself on going straight, but I cannot compete because it's a railway line. It's very, very good. It's really flexible, actually. Um, for instance, on this one, if you bought uh, another loom for another vehicle, you could take this screen out with the top dock and bolt it onto uh, a tractor with an electric steering wheel, or you could even bolt a light bar on the top and use it as a light bar system in another vehicle. And you can do it really very quickly. And you can actually store the settings in the vehicle page in here, so you can switch between vehicles very quickly once you've done the initial setup. What, what sort of feedback are you getting from farmers who are using Autoguide? Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, guys that have used other solutions uh, before Topcon um, are just so pleased with it because it's vastly more accurate and uh, the technology is moving on so fast now. It's, it's, just, it's just brilliant. It's working really well.